Hi, this is John McGraw with John McGraw Photography. In this video, I'm going to show you the basic workflow of a black and white street photo. So the other day I was in Toronto and I just shot all these photos in auto. Um, the reason being is because I had the camera down in my waist and I didn't want or couldn't um, set the exposure for every photo uh, because I didn't want the people to see that I was taking the photo so I could get some candid shots. So let's pick a photo. Uh, let's try this photo up here in the top right. So I'm just going to double click on that and that's going to bring me into camera raw. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and I'm going to convert it to a grayscale. Um, and the first thing that I notice is that the sky is really bright or blown out. So what I'm going to do is go right over here to my main controls and the first thing I would do on this photo would bring down the exposure a little bit and bring down the highlights. So right there you can see how all of a sudden it goes from being really blown out and white to having some detail in the clouds. So that also brings down the shadows right here and her face. Um, I'm going to bring up the clarity a little bit so that's going to help and then also I'm going to bring up the shadow which will really help on the clothes especially. Uh, you don't want to go too far because then it makes it really grainy. So I'm going to go right here in the middle. There's a couple other things I can do. Um, right here I can go to the curves section and I can go to the highlights. Uh, right there makes the clouds nice and bright. Um, I could do the lights which really blows it out so I'm going to bring it down a little bit. Uh, the darks right there it helps with the clothing. The shadows with the clothing as well. Um, if I wanted to lighten up her face right here we could go um, right here to the oranges and bring up her face a little bit. See it brings it kind of does the street lights and everything else with it. Um, but it really brightens up her face. I kind of like that. Um, so I could also do something like this uh, right here, the radiant filter. I could bring that over to her face and kind of just circle it like that. And then right over here I have the exposure. Um, you know, that's a little drastic each way. But right there in the middle I could just bring it up a little bit. I'm doing this real quick so you're going to see a little shadows on the outside there. Uh, but you kind of get the idea. I would normally zoom in and take my time and make it a lot smaller. Uh, but this just gives you a basic idea. Um, so I could just hit this uh, hand si sign right here, and then I can go back to my main features over here and just kind of uh, mess with it until you get it the way you like it. There's no set answer for this photo. Um, it's kind of however you like it. And so right about there, it looks a lot better. So just to kind of show you where, where it came from, uh, right here I'll get out of the grayscale. Um, so that's what it looked like in color. Obviously that face doesn't look that good. Um, but we can go right back here and we can go back to the default and that's what it looked like originally. So it looks much better in the black and white with the adjustments done. Um, I hope you liked this video and learned something. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and check out my webpage also which is johnmcgrawphotography.com. Thank you.